we are headed to Moultrie, Georgia for the Sunbelt Ag Expo. Yes, ma'am. Where are you going? Up here to park. I can't let you go that way. You have to go that way. Okay, oh, well, how do we get out of here then? Get out to the main yeah, road. That way and turn around. Oh, Lord. All right, we just got here to the Farm Expo and we actually run into some fans. So I'm here with Absolutely. the Mathis family, Mathis right? Mathis family. You would, what's your names? Ron, Brock, and Scarlett. Awesome. Super nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Right. Big fans. Nice Thank you. Cool. That's the new 8Rs. Eight eight yeah. How good would that look under our shed? It's just money. It's money, yeah. Can't take it with you. Yeah, but you, you say that very easy. <laughs> very easy. 8R 230. Now this one, honestly, if we were to get one, would be kind of the more the style we would want. So clean. They took the key out. The key's not in it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. This ain't very much seed. That ain't. That, that takes us back to the Crust Buster, don't it? So we got Jesse and Case from uh, near Gainesville, right? Yes, sir. Florida boys. Good deal. Must be a cotton field near. This is 120 foot? Yeah. Man, that thing just goes on for days. Guys, we're here at John Deere checking out this amazing sprayer. I'm here with Franklin. And uh, Franklin, tell us about this awesome machine you got here. You bet. So this is our, our 412 sprayer, a brand new uh, 400 series sprayer. So got an all new cab, same cab you'd find on an 8R tractor. So active seat, foot pedals, all day comfort, new visibility packages with LED lights. Uh, we got a 1200 gallon tank on this uh, unit as well as a 120 foot boom. And the special thing about this boom today is it's equipped with our sea and spray technology uh, so this is for fallow ground applications where it's the cameras uh, are identifying green weeds in a brown field uh, so with this equipment and, and this technology uh, we're, we're experiencing about 77 percent herbicide savings on average uh, and as well as a 98 percent accuracy hit rate on, on weeds in the field so uh, again, identifying nice. green weeds in, in a brown field and uh, customer feedback has just been phenomenal. Excited about the, the savings as well as the environmental sustainability. You bet. Does each row have a camera or talk about that yep, a little bit? Yep, so we've got one camera for every meter on the boom. So that's about 36 cameras on this 120 foot boom. Uh, that's surveying about 2,200 square feet at all times as you're going through the field. Uh, the cameras are the eyes. The silver boxes there are the processors. Those are the brains. Uh, it takes about 0.2 seconds or the blink of an eye for the camera to see the weed, processor to send the signal down to the nozzle to, to spray just that weed. So uh, phenomenal technology. No doubt, yep. And you know, Roundup has went way up. So I imagine this machine costs quite a bit, but you could save a pile of money pretty quick because you said how much savings? 77% on average, and that's tested over about 75,000 acres. Wow, so yeah, you could save a pile of money like you said, you know how it is, we broadcast, you spray everything. So if you could only spray the weed, like you said, it would be a huge, massive savings. You bet 100%. No and then as you as you think about herbicide resistance in weeds, mm -hmm. this unit can actually broadcast spray, spray from the front nozzle while also doing seed spray on the back nozzle to be more aggressive to wow. battle the, that, that herbicide resistance in the fields. That's crazy. Yep. Well, good deal, Franklin. Uh, Franklin said you're gonna let us demo this this year. Is that right? <laughs> No? Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. talk about that. Okay, yeah. maybe next year. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, leather seats. Quite a bit different than our 4630. Where's the uh, key at? No? <laughs> you feel Rose Gap? Yeah. Stainless steel tank, 1,200 gallons. Go check out the parts and service. The Dolphins like we run. Dad, just go get in the cab. Just go look at it. No. Why? I don't need to. I mean, you could go look at it and see how nice it is. All right. Are you scared to get into it? You think you might want one? 
No. No? You might. D Dad is still I partial, don't. believe it or not, of the 4960. He'd rather drive the 4960 than like the 8430, 8330. 8220. 8220. 8220. 8220. But you're just now coming around the 8220. Right. Yeah. Hey. All right. We've met another fan. What's your name? Sean Bass from Georgia. From Georgia. All right. It was nice to meet y'all. Thanks for watching, buddy. All right. Yeah, we'll see you. We're going to be late. We're going to miss the cotton picker. Where are you going, Jim? Cotton picker. You're in it. You going to the cotton picker? Yeah, cotton picker. Yep. Oh, I see it in the distance. It's glorious. Hey, Dad, stand next to the bell so I can see how big it is. It's pretty massive. Yeah, pretty tall. Here we are, brand spanking new cotton picker. They say it's the first one off the line. here to the field checking out the brand spanking new cotton picker and I'm here with Roger and he's going to tell us about this amazing cotton picker. So Roger take it away bud. Yeah I guess uh, we'll, we'll head down just the highlights here so this is our new CP 770 it's uh, one of two 770s in the family we got a cotton stripper version of this a CS just released in August uh, I guess the highlights of this machine over the it's uh, it's older version of the 690 is the fact that uh, if you start in the productivity side of it, we're 5% more productivity of this machine uh, out here harvesting. Uh, when you look at the economic side of it, uh, as far as on fuel efficiency, we got the new 13.6 uh, John Deere JD14 engine in this machine. Nice. And with all the upgrades we've done on this, we're uh, getting up to 20% better fuel economy out of this machine over the previous machine. And also on the on the wrap side, uh, I'm sure you can take a look at the bales here in a second. Oh yeah. On the round modules, uh, for the picker, we're actually getting two percent denser. So even if you're building the same size module, you're going to get two percent more cotton in that. When you you take that plus the size difference, because we can build up to 96 inch modules, you get an eight percent improvement uh, for the picker customer. So it's more more cotton. The cool thing about this thing too is when you look at the technology side of it. Uh, this has got our new operator station on it. It's the same operator station we have with the new X9 combines. Okay. So larger cab, 30% larger cab than our previous machine. Yep. Also the technology within that, it's got the latest technology. This machine has got real-time moisture, uh, module weight running on it, uh, yield uh, data running all at the same time. Nice. So you could get like, I guess, uh, an app or something on your you phone get, to watch uh, it? Yeah, so me tablet. as a, so... <laughs> Me as dad, you know, if son's running it or something right. like that, you know, the cool thing there like is I can... brother Randy or yeah, something like that. Yeah, actually, I do have brother right. Randy. Yeah. yeah, so if, you know, somebody else is running one of my operators, I can pull it up on my iPad and take nice. a look at it and, and see exactly see, right. and say, hey, by the way, you know, why don't you go ahead and push it up. Right. So... Now, what about the speeds? What's the average ground speed that you, that yeah, you can run? Yeah, that's what, another thing, that 5% productivity. So our previous machine synchronized at 4.4. We're running 4.6 mile an hour. So what does that mean for like 38 inch cotton? Right now, I, when I looked at this machine, I'm getting close to 11 acres an hour wow. out of it. So you can cover a lot cover of, some, you know, yeah. like about 110 acres in a 10 hour day. Oh yeah. So, is it true this is the first one off the is, line? This is number one serial number off no the line. No way, awesome. Brought it to the show, the number one machine. We have that much confidence right. in our build quality. And uh, it's been running flawlessly. Nice. All right, well, it's getting loud. The picker's pulling up, so let's get a closer look at it. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, here we are inside the cab of the first cotton picker of this line. Right, this is the very, very one, first yes, one. Awesome. All right, you ready to go harvest? Let's do it. All right. We've got a 9996, so this is quite the upgrade. This is, yeah. yeah. This, <laughs> the uh, cab on the 9996 would fit inside of this. Oh, cab. yeah, this is nice. This is 30% larger than the frame of that cat, so yeah. So where where do you farm cotton at? Uh, North Florida. Yeah. Near um, like Marianne, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the area or not, but we're about an hour and a half from, from, uh, from here. Great. 
we were hauling. Yeah, 4.6 miles per hour, and the very first one off the line, like you said. So, are you nervous out here picking with so many people watching you? Um, I'm nervous just that uh, they stay out of the way. Other right. Than that, <laughs> it's, I'm okay with them watching me. I uh, have a few hours under my belt picking cotton. Right. So. Oh yeah, I bet. Yeah. Oh, I love picking cotton. Out of all the things on the farm, yeah. to me, like that's the funnest thing to do is pick cotton. You bet. That's uh, the uh, accumulator, you would call yep. it. Yep, so we can actually look at it, different screens. So yeah, this is the raw module builder. We can see it spinning. It's building a module right now. Really important when we wrap the module, you can see the wrap come on there. So before you eject, make sure it's wrapped. Then uh, we also have a rear facing camera. So when you're backing up, you eject the module, you can see everything right. behind you. So, yep. Nice. Yeah. And I noticed you're not steering it, so you've also got auto track. Auto track, yep. We're using auto track, or we're using row sense right now, what we yep. call it, but yep, exactly right. So the machine is very automated. We actually have an auto button in here. Okay. So when it makes the module and everything, it does that all automatically. Nice. Um, it's steering automatically. I'm just making sure that it doesn't run into anything. Yeah. And that we uh, turn around okay at the end of the row. We're about to make a module. And it's about five bells in a module, is that right? Uh, four and a half to five, yeah. Okay. So you can see it's wrapping. Stop here real quick, I don't want to eject into that. So that's actually... Yep, see the wrap around the module? I push the auto button, Yeah. there you see the bells now out on the back. That quick? That quick. Usually I wouldn't stop, but being we're turning around by the yeah. power lines, I didn't want to have anything funny happening there. And that's the great thing about this machine is you don't even have to stop. It kicks it on the right. tail wheel and you're still picking cotton. Right, yep. That non-stop harvester. All right. From start to finish, how long does it take to build one of these? Um, about two days. What? Yep. Two days. Two days. That's insane. Yeah. So when will these be able to purchase? Um, you can order them right now. We'll start shipping them to dealers in the United States in early 2022. So you'll start seeing them in probably that February, March time frame. What's the price point? Just over a million dollars. All right, we made one round. We're going to get out and uh, check out all the bells and whistles. Yeah, heck yeah. Awesome, man, that thing is a beast.